Hello there. Did you know that there are more than 70 brands of adjustable beds with over 500 different models? We were pretty sure you have better things to do with your time than to dig through hundreds of boring adjustable bed reviews. That's why our expert team at www.bedroom.solutions did all the research for you and published the top 10 adjustable bed reviews for your convenience. Unlike many other reviews you'll find online, our adjustable bed ratings have a strong scientific basis. We have carefully analyzed over 33 adjustable bed features on nearly 100 adjustable bed frames and over 1,200 adjustable bed reviews when compiling this list of best adjustable bases. This video is a review of our number one ranked adjustable bed. On this video review, we demonstrate some of the most important features of the adjustable base like pillow tilting, wall hugging, lumbar support, and programmable memory positions. We hope you find it useful. Over to you, Alex. Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm going to be doing a review for the Adjustable Bed DM9000S for Bedroom Dot Solutions. Let me remind you that the DM9000S is by far one of the most advanced adjustable beds in the United States. There is only one other bed in the market with similar specs, however the price point for that bed is twice as much. I will go ahead and walk you through the 18 button remote control, all of the features it has to offer, as well as any other features that the bed does that is not highlighted in the remote control. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the first two rows of the remote control, that is the head up and head down buttons. So as you can see, if I go ahead and do the head up button, you will see the bed start to rise and it'll go all the way up to a 60 degree angle, which is great for relaxing and or anything else you might want to do. However, if you are sitting at a 60 degree angle, your head does point slightly upward. So if you want to read a book, watch TV, or anything like that, this position might not be the best for that, but there is an action called the pillow tilt, and that is perfect for that. So to show you the rest of the features, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the mattress off, and then I'll be right back, just so that you can really see the movement of the base of the bed. Okay, I have now removed the mattress so that you can see the adjustable bed base just as it is. As I was saying, this position is great for lounging and relaxing, but not so great for watching TV. Pillow tilting is the way to go if you will use your bed to watch TV, read, work on your computer, or anything else. Pillow tilting is controlled by these two middle buttons on the top rows. And can you visualize how perfect it would be to watch TV or read a book? With this position, you will completely be comfortable and your neck will not be strained. Now let's say you want to watch TV with your legs raised a little. You can simply press the feet up button and have your wish granted. If you want to come to this position every day without having to press the head up button, pillow up button, and feet up buttons multiple times, you can simply program this position onto the memory A or memory B buttons. You can do that by pressing this timer all off button until the buttons on the remote are flashing like this. Then pressing the memory A button. There it is, my favorite TV watching and relaxing position programmed on the memory A position. You could program memory B too to any position of your choice like anti-snoring position, feet relaxation position, etc. Now let's say I have watched TV for a couple of hours and I'm ready to sleep. Instead of having to press the head down, pillow down, and foot down buttons multiple times, I am simply going to press this one touch flap button just once and it's done. The bed goes down to its original position. You will notice that the bed is going down at a very slow pace. Trust me, that is for your own good. First of all, you don't want to feel like you're going on a roller coaster ride when you're racing and lowering the bed. Secondly, the slowness adds an extra layer of safety. If you see that something is going to get caught between the bed base and the decking, the slow movement gives you plenty of time to remove it before it gets caught. A 
In addition to the flat preset button, there is a zero gravity preset button. Pressing the one touch zero gravity button takes the bed to the zero gravity position, which is an extremely relaxing position. Did you notice how the motor noise it was so minimal to almost unnoticeable during those movements? Some adjustable beds make a lot of noise when they're being operated, but the motors are ultra quiet, which is very nice. Now, let me demonstrate the lumbar support feature on this bed. There are two buttons that move the lumbar bar up and down. Pressing the lumbar bar up button brings the lumbar bar up. You can bring it all the way up or stop halfway as you'd like. This way, you can control how much pressure you have on your back. I want to emphasize one point here. You might think that the lumbar bar is actually pushing on your butt rather than your lower back, but when you have the mattress on, the lumbar support feature applies pressure directly onto your lower back, whether you're sleeping flat or in the seated position. Of course, you're free to move up and down until the bed hits your sweet spot. Now I'm going to move to the massage section on the remote. There are four buttons here that operate various massage functions. There are head massage, foot massage, and the full body wave function in the massage timer. First, I'm going to turn the head massage function on by pressing this head massage button. If I place my hand, I feel moderate vibration. Now I'm going to turn the massage intensity up by pressing the head massage button a couple of times more. Now I know you cannot feel the massage waves through this video. That is why I have placed some coins here so that you can understand how the massage works in pulses. The foot massage works the same. With both head and foot massage, the massage waves come and go in pulses, which actually feels really nice. If you listen closely, you can hear the massage motors working. Now I'm going to press the wave button. When I press the wave button, the massage travels like a wave from head to toe. Trust me, it's a really nice feeling that is guaranteed to put me to sleep every single time. I can turn off massage of both motors by pressing on this timer all off button. I can use it to set a timer on the massage so that it will automatically switch off in 10, 20, or 30 minutes. I like this feature very much because I can set it to 20 minutes and go to sleep and the massage will automatically turn off. Another feature I like on this model is under the bed light mode. The button for that is right here. It's a blue LED light, which is really useful at night. There's also a flashlight button on the remote. Quite honestly, I personally have no use for it. I have covered all 18 buttons on the remote controller. However, there are a few more features that I want to show you. One is the finish on the upholstery. As you can see, there is a really nice gray upholstered frame going right around the bed. This is known as the furniture style adjustable bed. It covers the ugly mechanical components under the platform. Most adjustable beds don't have this. When you don't have it, the metal frame is exposed, which is not so nice. While I'm on the furniture style decking, I want to show you the USB ports placed right here. There are two on each side. You can use them to charge your phone, iPad, etc. On some models, the USB ports are on the underside of the bed. That is not the best place for USB ports because your cables can get caught when the bed moves up and down, but the Dynasty Mattress DM9000S, that is not a problem. Another feature I want to show you is the built-in Bluetooth speaker of this adjustable bed. As you can see, I've already paired my iPad with the Bluetooth speaker. The quality of the audio is really, really nice, and it also has a subwoofer too.
I have raised the head section here to show you the location of the Bluetooth speakers. As you can see, they have been strategically placed um, so that they can be hidden when the bed is flat or raised. I hope you can see this speaker on the other side as well. There is also a subwoofer under the bed. I want to show you another cool feature called micro hooking mattress retention. You can't see it on the video, but I feel a stickiness on this strip. It sticks to and clings onto the mattress, keeping it in place. If you don't have this adhesive surface, the mattress doesn't stick to the bed frame and tends to slip away from the bed base, especially when the head is raised. Now I'm going to show you something I have never seen anyone talk about on the internet. I'm about to raise the bed into the zero gravity position with the mattress on. However, know that there is no one on the bed. What do you think is going to happen? If you expected the mattress to stick to the bed frame like glue, I'm afraid you're wrong. The mattress will not follow the exact shape of the bed frame without a considerable weight on it, like the weight of a human being. What you see on this video is proof of that. No micro hooking will be able to hold on to the mattress unless there is weight pressing on it down. I have not seen anybody talk about this on the internet, but this is the truth. However, this absolutely does not interfere with your day-to-day -day use of an adjustable bed. Nobody will have their bed in zero gravity or the TV watching position when there is no one on it, right? As long as you are on the mattress, this won't be a problem. This is more common with lightweight mattresses like this particular mattress, which is a memory foam mattress. However, with a heavier latex or coil spring mattress, the mattress tends to stick to the adjustable base better. Also, as the mattress ages or breaks in over time, the mattress becomes softer and more flexible and will follow the contours of the adjustable base better. Please understand that this is no reason to shy away from buying an adjustable bed. We just wanted to make sure you are aware of this so that you don't think it's fault of the bed base or mattress when this happens to you. This will happen with all adjustable beds and lightweight mattresses. The next feature I want to show you is an extremely important feature known as the wall hugging. I want you to pay attention to the space between the top edge of the bed and the wall. Adjustable bed frames without wall hugging can take you as much as two feet away from the headboard when you raise the upper body. This takes you away from the nightstand as well. So if you wanted to reach for something on the nightstand while in the seated position, you have to twist and stretch backwards, which can potentially sprain your back and your neck. In contrast, wall hugging beds like the DM9000S slides backwards while the upper body raises and keeps you adjacent to the headboard or wall so that you can reach your stuff on the nightstand without twisting your back. The backward slide of the bed is more obvious from the foot as you can clearly see it from this corner. However, you need to keep in mind that the wall hugging cannot completely eliminate the space between the sleeper and the wall. The thickness of the mattress, be it 8 inches, 12 inches, or 15 inches, will always push you forward, however much the wall hugging takes you back. As you see here, the DM9000S moves back to a total of 6 inches. More would have been better, but that could potentially damage the headboard or the wall at the head at the end of the adjustable bed frame. Wall hugging helps to reduce the space between the wall and the base to just one foot at the head of the DM9000S. Wall hugging is especially recommended for the elderly because without wall hugging, seniors are more prone to strain their backs and their neck muscles. Another feature I want to show you during this review is the zero clearance feature. The Dynasty Mattress DM9000S is a zero clearance model, meaning that you can place this bed frame on a storage bed, a platform bed, or even on the floor. This is because the mechanics of this bed have been organized in such a way that the mechanical components don't stick out underneath the bed frame when it is raised and lowered. But on most adjustable beds out there, Various hydraulic arms stick out underneath the bed 
preventing you from using the space underneath for storage. We're almost done and I want to remind you that you can get an exclusive discount coupon on the DM9000S by going to www.bedroom.solutions. Okay, now for the last feature. There are six legs on this bed. Some beds only have four legs, which makes them kind of wobbly. Six legs make the DM9000S extremely steady. Also, the leg height is adjustable, meaning they can be made as short as six inches or as tall as 10 inches. This is great because sometimes if you have a very thick mattress, it makes your bed way too tall. You can lower the bed by making the leg short on the other hand, if you have a thin mattress or you are very tall, you can raise the bed by adjusting the leg height appropriately. Thank you for staying all along with me. If you have found this review useful, don't forget to subscribe to Bedroom Solutions. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below and the Bedroom Solutions team will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks guys, have a good one. Thank you for watching our adjustable bed review on the most important functions of the Dynasty Mattress DM9000S adjustable bed. We have a series of review videos on all types of adjustable bed features and brands. Please make sure you watch all of them so that you can make the correct decision about which adjustable bed you must purchase. Please subscribe to our channel and make sure you visit www.bedroom.solutions for up-to-date adjustable bed reviews of today's best-rated models and to grab exclusive discount coupons on the Dynasty Mattress DM9000S adjustable bed and others.